What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. So, today's video we're going to be talking about everything you're going to need to know about getting into car photography. So we're going to start off with like just the basics that you need to know, uh, the basic camera gear that you're going to need, and I'll show you guys what camera gear I have. So if you guys don't know, I'm actually a car photographer. I will throw up my Instagram. I, I do photo shoots. I get paid to do photo shoots. So I'm just going to kind of run you down on this process of how to get into car photography, how to start doing it, the gear that you're going to need, some good gear that you could use. Uh, to start off with some gear that you can always upgrade to so obviously the first thing you're gonna need is a camera so I will show you guys my camera I have the Sony a7r2 with the Sigma 35 mil f1.4 lens shoots really good pictures it's also all right for video as well but mostly for pictures I will throw up some of my sample photos so you guys know what I'm talking about but yeah I've had this for about half a year now uh, this setup just like this I really like it really kind of pricey though so Definitely uh, not a beginner camera by any means, but I did start out on, on a Canon T5i with like the kit lens and then like the basic 50 mil 1.8 and that was really good but I just didn't know how to edit or do anything regarding the pictures. They, they didn't come out that good, but over a year, um, I upgraded to like Lightroom and learned how to edit on Lightroom and then upgraded to a Sony a6300 with a Sigma 30 mil 1.4 lens. I'll show some of the pictures I was able to take with that. That one was a really good budget setup. I say budget, but it was really like 700 bucks for that setup. I went from a $300 setup to a $700 setup to a like $1,600 setup. So. This, uh, the lens was about 600 bucks, and then the body I got for, actually a pretty good deal, I got it for $1,025, but they go for like 1100 uh, for the most part. So, really good though, really good camera, really enjoy it, uh, definitely takes some good pictures. I will put those cameras down below the recommendations that I have for each level uh, that you wanna get into. So, the next step is obviously you're gonna need to get a car to photograph. Luckily for me, I was into cars, so I just took pictures of my own cars, and then over time I started taking pictures for other people's cars, and I didn't really charge for any of the car pictures that I did. I kinda just took them and then edited them and then just sent them out. And over time I started charging for the photo shoots from like $2 a picture to like $5 a picture, and then I finally have it set up to where it is like per the hour. So I have like 30 minute sessions, an hour session, hour and a half session, two hour session, and I charge based off of that. So that's kind of what I do. Um, but yeah, you're gonna need to get a car, so go find your friends that like cars or go photograph your car. It doesn't matter what kind of car it is. As long as you have a car, you can get the basics down. With that being said, all you need is a camera uh, and a car to go shoot. Some good tips are when you're starting, especially for car photography, um, I would say get the cheapest prime lens you can find. So anything like no zoom lenses, just a prime lens that has like a low f-stop. So like a f1.8 or an f1.4 would be perfect. Uh, f2.8 would even be good. Um, and just go photograph some cars, get some practice done guys. So one good tip for when you're shooting a car is to go ahead, uh, make sure you get the full car in frame. Don't cut off any part of the car with the pictures that you're taking. Make sure you get the full car in frame. You don't want to be cutting part of the car off with the picture. You can always crop it in, but you don't want to just like accidentally like cut off a part of the car, then it's not really usable. In my opinion, it doesn't look that good. Make sure when you're starting out to get a full picture of the car, don't cut anything out, and then work your way into the detail shots, get closer to the car, and actually uh, properly line up how you want the car to be cut off, where you want the picture to be cut off. Um, it's better to do that than for it to be cut off in a weird spot. You don't want to be cutting off like half of the wheel and like the back of the car and then have like the front of the car in it. It just looks weird. But at the same time, uh, photography is subjective. It's not objective. So it's whatever you think looks best, pretty much go for it. So. So to summarize, the things that you're gonna need are obviously a camera, so go get yourself a camera and a prime lens. Go ahead and invest into Lightroom, Adobe Lightroom. That's the second thing you're gonna wanna do. And the third thing is find a car to photograph and get it properly in frame. Um, don't cut it off in weird spots. So those would be my three tips, beginner tips into getting into car photography. That's all you really need to know. I will leave links down below to different camera gear uh, that I think would be good for starting off. So definitely go check into that. I will have one at a $300 price range, a $700 price range, and a $1,600 price range like I have right here. And I will show sample work of those as well. So 
definitely uh, go check out those cameras if you're trying to get into car photography. So yeah guys, hopefully you enjoyed this quick little video uh, on how to get into car photography really easily. Um, most of you guys are probably gonna be wanting to make money, but a big tip is to just go shoot some cars for free, get good at it, and then you can start charging. That's honestly the best way to do it. So yeah guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to go check me out on Instagram. Um, I will leave my Instagram down below. And also, if you guys enjoyed the video and it helped you in any way, make sure to give the video a like and definitely subscribe down below, guys. It really helps me out when you guys like and subscribe, so definitely go do that. Um, but without further ado, remember stay safe, stay happy, and stay in that project car. I will catch you guys later.